Scientists must also brave the volcano slopes to take fresh lava samples to further understand its next move. One man fearless enough... Oh, my Lord! ..is the eruption's most rock and roll researcher, Dr Valentin Troll, who's been monitoring the volcano since the very beginning. Oh, yes! At least in part, and it's coming at enormous speed. It's like a cannonball. The most recent molten rock was spotted two days ago on the volcano's north side. So I joined Valentin on a bid to find a fresh sample on the powdery northern slopes. We can start to see the mounds of ash deposited now. And this isn't even the worst zone. So it's not so far from here. Just going around two more bends and then we're there. OK. okay. This far up the hill is evidence of the recent molten activity. You start to feel uh, the heat as it blows over. I'm starting already. So, guys, we have to go behind the fire. The wind is blowing it out, so we're going to sample above the fire. Okay. Make sure you have your gas mask ready in case the wind turns. 11 weeks ago, this was a tiny private vineyard. But now, it's the volcano's most recent victim. There's a little lava flow that came down, and then this big block, you can actually see there, so the skid marks. Oh, of course. And then it bumped into the house there. Actually, we have... We are in danger. Because the there is another there. big yeah. a big block there that is allowed to, to roll down. It's going to fall in the next week or two. Yeah, it says it slowly makes its way down, is it? One earthquake and it will come. Last time I predicted it's going to take a week, it actually took two hours, so... <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, we can't hang around. We're looking for a sample with some kind of timestamp. And 48 hours earlier, during what hopefully was the volcano's last lava flow, scientists caught on camera a huge chunk of molten rock literally snowballing down the mountain. See the large block there? This is one of those lava balls. They're actually like snowballs, but on lava. They roll down on the lava and they take up the uh, uh, sticky upper skin that's partly solidified. They can get quite enormous. Unlike its icy counterparts... I mean, still, still warm. This lava ball still stands strong two days later. And we must carve off our sample with caution. This was still hot, we still glow yesterday, so I think this area down there is pretty OK. Normally, this would be my job, but since I'm strictly here as an observer, Dr Valentin... Colin's going to have the chisel, please. ..will do the honours. Please keep an eye on what I'm throwing out. Is it hot over there, Valentin? It's still warm enough to tell you that it's very recent. So we have some fresh lava sample here. But what's important to us is the minerals. So here we have a little bit of various minerals in there. And uh, this is what we hope to analyze them. And it's a pretty dense sample as well, isn't it? It is pretty dense. From samples collected in recent weeks, Valentin has noticed a potentially promising trend. Well, uh, the uh, lava chemistry has changed, first of all. So it seems that uh, there is some changes as to the depth from where we source the magma. That magma has moved up, and maybe it means that once the piping system is emptied, it might be over. So some uh, scientists uh, speculate that uh, we are now in the closing phase of the eruption. Personally, I think we have to be a little careful because uh, this volcano has been full of surprises, so it might well come back with uh, more activity that we haven't quite uh, anticipated. You don't want to leave people with false hopes? No, that's right. Valentin will take this sample back to the lab. Mission accomplished. He needs to see if it reinforces the pattern of decreasing activity. But, as expected, later that night, the unexpected happens. Out of nowhere, the volcano bursts back to life. 
Molten lava destroys more houses. The government widens the exclusion zone and the disaster response teams are scrambled. La Palma's volcano has exploded back into action and molten lava cascades down towards the ocean using toxic gas. Sky doors. New roads are blocked off. The authorities widen the exclusion zone, and we head in. There is uh, some explosive activity up there. My team have split up. For safety reasons, I go in solo to film the fire service in Valentin, close to the lava source. Filmmaker Ollie heads out with police and marine biologists to the bottom of the flow. And Fabio joins local vets to ensure no animals are harmed in the making of this new lava. This is a very restricted situation right now. So we are accompanied by the fire brigade today. That's the car in front of us. We must have gas masks at all time. Valentin must inspect the new activity and collect samples for the government. Oh, my Lord. So here's the volcano. And uh, look a little angry today. See the new lava that has come down at the side? Oh, yes. the uh, that's, the, that's the new lava, so they have no ash cover yet. So uh, they are the ones we are trying to catch when we go further down now. Half a mile from the lava, the firefighters wave us down. What's the problem? We can't risk our vehicles getting stuck in these toxic conditions. So, we have to walk from here. These gas dispersing winds could die down any minute. So, we need to be quick. We're rushing down. Our time frames are very limited at the minute. The gas levels are a little bit too high to be operating in. Back at the top of the flow, I'm with Valentin on the hunt for hot lava. But toxic gases linger heavy in the air, and the dispersing wind could drop at any time. And yeah, as you see, I'm now the cameraman as well. That's because we know this area is unsafe to take the whole crew into, so we stripped down the team and we're just heading in here as light as possible. And we're assisted by the Bombardus, the fire department here. We reach the edge of one of the lava flows. So now, we're already standing on one of the lava flows here. Fresh, all the way around, still got heat emanating from the area. Have you found a good spot for sampling? We can't get close enough to the molten rock, so we must follow the flow further up the hill. You can feel the heat emanating from the lava flow. I mean, this is all fresh material, and just over the hill there, that will still be flowing. Holes in the ground everywhere with roofing tiles. It makes you realise you actually stood on a roof. And what you see now is the lava flow at our height. And it's completely ripped through every building. So yeah, found uh, something that looks suitable yet? Well, it's all very young, so it's pretty good, but we haven't found the actual flow yet. The active lava is just out of reach, but Valentin as a plan B. You cannot cross the lava flow here, it's too dangerous in order to get to the active channel. So we're trying to go around the lobe that stops beyond the surface and try to approach it from below. But we need to hurry up because the wind is subsiding and gases are beginning to pool. 
You might be able to see but that blue haze over there is actually very poisonous. So all, all that bluey tinge and the sulfur you can see suspended in the air in gas form. So we don't, we don't have long to be here in a matter of minutes and it just looks like a apocalyptic film.